Oh, oh, come on. Yep, got him that time. Feel like a better fish. Oh, running straight at me. Come on, step out of that grass. Oh, golly. That fish absolutely destroyed it. Oh yeah, good fish too. Real good fish. this evening at this little pond that I've been to a few times before as you can tell it's pretty darn windy right now I'm just now getting here it's about 3 30 in the afternoon like I said I haven't been here in a while but I've had some big fish actually in this tiny little pond had a couple of them pretty darn big hooked up and they came off so I'm here this afternoon looking to see if I can get another one of those big ones on. Actually land it this time. I'm going to start out with a little whopper plopper. See if they're still wanting some topwater action. That's been all of my success in this pond actually has been on topwater. I've thrown a few other things at them, but they seem to really, really want a topwater in this pond. So that's what I'm going to start with. Probably going to transition to some other stuff here in just a little bit if I can't get bit pretty quickly. But I imagine they still should be eating this top water. It's late fall, early winter now, but it's not that cold here in Texas. Not yet, anyway. Water temperatures still should be just about what they were about, I don't know, even a month ago, two months ago. Probably the same exact water temperature for a while now. It's been a pretty mild fall. Nice. <laughs> that was a pretty good blow up. Just a little old bass though. Not very big. <laughs> I love the way they hit that whopper plopper though. They usually come with some force when they try to eat this thing. Alrighty. There we go. Just a wee little guy, but nice blow up on the little whopper plopper. Thank you for playing little buddy. That was cool. It was already worth it to me coming over here. This place is just right down the street from where I live, so anytime I can come get a topwater bite like that in just a few minutes, I'll take it. Oh no. No, 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 no. Whoo! That was almost real bad. I do not want to lose this thing. $17 topwater kind of ridiculous but it works so good I just got to keep buying them oh golly I'm not sure if that was a good fish or not but something tried to kill it right there all right let's move around to the bigger side of this pond where I've lost those real big fish that I really want to get my hands on There we go. There's a better one. Oh yeah, good fish. Come on, dude. Oop, oop. Don't throw that bait. <laughs> yes, sir. Golly, hard fighting sucker too. Oop. Gotta stick with him now. 
All right, that's a pretty decent fish right there. Still not the big mama I'm looking for in here right now, but it's pretty darn fun to catch. I had just restarted my GoPro because I hadn't got a bite in a little while here, so I'd stopped it and started the next clip. Very first cast after I did that, this dude came up and ate it. Kind of skinny. One of the very few skinny ones I've caught in this pond. Actually, they're usually pretty darn healthy, but he's got kind of a big mouth, a little bit of a skinny body, but anyway, thank you for playing, buddy. That was fun. Oh no. Okay. Whew. I really don't want to lose this bait today. Oh, oh, come on. Yep, got him that time. Feels like a better fish. Oh, run straight at me. Come on. Stay up out of that grass. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Better than that last one. This is a real healthy one here. Oh, I barely got him by the one treble hook. Oh, come on. Come on. Stay on there. Oh, yeah. He's hooked good, though, by that one treble hook. There we go. That's... That's more like what we're looking for. Still want a bigger one. Oh, wow. Lay my rod down. The bait just fell right out. That's more like it though. That's a pretty nice one. Looking for an even bigger one. Looking for a real giant, but man, that is not a bad one right there at all. Like I was saying, they're usually real healthy in this pond. That girl's there has got a nice belly on her. Beautiful, beautiful fish out of this tiny little pond. Came up and waked on that whopper plopper one time and then I just kept reeling it right over there and came up and blasted it pretty good that second time that was fun thank you for playing little mama Shoo. that was awesome I'm glad that fish stayed on I had her by just one treble hook and I was laying my rod down right there to get her unhooked and the bait just fell out of her mouth that was pretty cool Made a long cast over here all the way across the pond. She waked on it about a third of the way back and then about half the way back she blew up on it pretty darn good. That was that was sweet right there. Alright, no more bites on the whopper plopper, so I'm gonna switch it up here a little bit. Still gonna be a moving bait, but I'm gonna Try a lipless crankbait. I've actually never thrown a lipless crankbait in here before. So I'm excited to see how it works. Hopefully I can come through this grass easy enough. Throwing a cotton cordell super spot. Partly because it's made out of a different plastic than a rattle trap that floats a lot higher. So if you don't really want to get your bait down that deep, if you want to more keep it up out of the grass. I like this cotton cordell actually a little bit better than a rattle trap. Alrighty, here we go. Ooh. <laughs> that was nice. I was ripping it out of the grass. Felt it hang up in some grass. I was trying to clear it out of there. Fish came up and smashed it. <laughs> Just a little dude, but golly, did he really smash that thing. <laughs> that was really cool. There we go. That was cool. A little bit skinny again on that one, but eh, not really, I guess probably just a male he's not really skinny just not real fat like a lot of the ones out of here but thank you for playing buddy that was fun absolutely crushed this lipless crankbait all right well we're gonna repeat the same process over there on the other side of the pond I'm gonna throw a whopper plopper first try and see if I can get him to blow up on the top water then if not then I'll go back to this little rattle trap 
Wow, this water looks really clear over here on this side. You can really tell how clear it is. Goodness gracious. See a bunch of little minnows and a few little perch and stuff swimming up in here too. That's good to see. I usually actually don't see very much bait in here. They're staying healthy somehow, so I knew it was here, but just never really seen any. Seen any. I'm seeing some right now. Golly. Fish just barely slurped it, but gosh, felt some pressure. Some pretty good pressure, actually. It pulled pretty darn hard right before I set the hook. But it's like it just came up from behind and just barely nipped it. Probably just barely had one little treble hook. Golly. Sure felt nice. Dang it. That was probably a pretty good fish right there. A lot of times that's exactly what those bigger fish do. They won't really explode on it. They'll just come up and barely slurp it from behind. Wow, nothing along that edge there though, huh? All right, well, I'm gonna go back to that rattle trap again. Or I keep saying rattle trap. It's actually, like I said the first time, Cotton Cordell Super Spot. The lipless crankbait, I tend to just call all lipless crankbaits rattle traps like a lot of people but more specifically it's actually a cotton cordell super spot eh, not that one not the red one although that's a super spot also but that perch colored one there is the one i've been catching them on lately pretty good all right well nothing on the lipless i'm actually going to go to another pond just right over the hill over here real quick I haven't had a whole lot of success over here at this other pond for whatever reason. But I have had one day where I caught a couple of pretty good ones, so I'm gonna head over there real quick, tie back on this whopper plopper again, throw that first just because that really seems to be what they want right now, just the top water. I've fished this thing pretty thoroughly with that rattle trap. But still all my bites so far, except for one, come on a top water, so. I'm gonna let the fish keep telling me what to do. I'm not gonna try to force anything. And if they wanna eat a top water, that's just fine by me, of course. That is definitely my favorite way to catch them. And this whopper plopper is becoming one of my favorite top water baits, if not my absolute favorite already. I've already caught a lot of really good fish and a couple of pretty big ones on this thing. And I haven't been throwing them that long. Over the last year or so is really when I started throwing it. See how this water looks today. It was actually pretty darn dirty last time I was here. Whew, it looks good now though. Looks pretty clean. It was real, ah, come on, right on the edge of the grass of my first cast. Anyway, it was real dirty last time I was here. Super off color, but it doesn't look that bad right now. Looks slightly stained out there past the grass, but inside this grass line, it's real clear. Oh, golly. That fish absolutely destroyed it. Oh yeah, good fish too. Real good fish. Oh yeah. Looks like he swallowed that whopper plopper too. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Come on up here, buddy. Shoo, that fish absolutely destroyed that thing. Solid, solid fish too. So, so fat and healthy. Holy cow. Look at the belly on that thing. So heavy for how short he is. There we go. Unhooked him without harming him at all. Alrighty. Another solid fish. That other one probably weighed a little bit more just because he had a bigger frame, but my goodness, that one right there is really, really healthy. Super fat, nice, beautiful bass. Thank you for playing, little buddy. That was fun. Oh, yeah. Whew, what a blow up that one. That one did there. That was really, really nice.
Oh, come on. Another one, the very next cast. Nipped at it, but he missed it. Come on, fish. Come back for it again. Ooh, yep, there he is. <laughs> wow. What in the world? That was crazy. Hope the fish is still on there. Oh yeah, he is. I can see him. Oh, he's not that big. He's hooked in the back. Okay. That's what's going on here. I was going to say that was weird. He was fighting really hard, but like around in circles. It's because he got hooked in the back fin. I'm trying to get in here without dipping my waders in the water. Here we go, little guy. <laughs> wow. Mike longed that one. Just <laughs> foul hooked him right in the back. He blasted on it though for such a small fish. That was cool. Thank you for playing, little buddy. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> Thought he missed it at first, but oop, got him by just the back trouble hook. Oh, here he goes. Jumped and came off. He wasn't that good of a fish, but gosh, he sure hit it like one. All right, well, back to where we started on this second pond. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to cut off this whopper plopper. Put on this rattle trap and try to fish around this pond real quick before it gets dark here. Mm -hmm. 